The Baltimore Police Department sent this message to officers and staff. Hello. I am here today to discuss the progress that we, as a department, have made with the consent decree implementation. Commissioner Michael Harrison says it describes where the department is five and a half years after it began the process to reform and rebuild trust. We want to be a good department. We want to make this change. This change is deserved by the people of Baltimore. In federal court, the judge overseeing the consent decree wanted to know about results, proof of what is working. BPD says as of September, 83% of its assessments dealing with police training and other issues were on track or demonstrated initial compliance. We've you know, shown our officers the path on how they you know, can police, and we want to make sure that they are adhering to those policies correctly. But the judge and Baltimore police say major challenges still exist, including staffing issues, something police departments across the country are facing. The judge says it's an extremely serious problem. It's not getting better. It's getting worse. Judge James Bredar worries it could impede BPD's efforts to complete the consent decree. City police are offering several incentives, but say it's too early to tell if they're working. The judge wonders if the Department of Justice can offer assistance. Commissioner Harrison says he can't speak for the DOJ, but knows it's trying to find solutions. We believe that everybody should share in this burden because we're all competing for a small number of qualified applicants, and it is a tough competition. We want to get the best and the brightest, but everybody wants that. Another issue, interactions with youth, including squeegee workers. We need to, again, find ways that we're finding the least intrusive, most effective means by which to handle uh, our interactions with you. Commissioner Harrison is part of the city's squeegee collaborative. On November 3rd, Mayor Brandon Scott is expected to make an announcement about the work that this group is doing involving squeegee workers. Reporting from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.